Hey, what's up guys, Bobby here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I solved the shocker machine from Hack the Box. Uh, shocker was a rather easy machine. Uh, it was Linux based and it was very interesting because you had to exploit the vulnerability called Shell Shocker, as the title of the box suggests. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So, after running the nmap and saving the output in a txt file, you can see that there is a 80, port 80 open, which is an HTTP port, and port 200, 2222. But we're not going to work with the SSH port for now. I mean, it doesn't have any usage in our box whatsoever. So, this is the main page. This is the yeah the main page, uh, the home page of the uh, of our box. So as you can see, there's nothing interesting here. But if we run a derbuster like this, derb HTTP ten 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 fifty six, uh, you'll see something interesting. While and in the meanwhile, I'm gonna skip to the moment that the derbuster ends. Nothing really interesting um, except the CGI bin directory, but it has the four the four hundred three uh, request um, response, which is forbidden which is for forbidden access. So what I thought is why not search in the CGI bin directory with the extension dot uh, sh because of course it's a Linux server, so it must have in a in a CGI bin directory, it must have something with uh with an with the ex with dot sh extension. Sorry. So we're gonna run it, and uh, I'm gonna skip to the moment it uh, ends. All right. So the dear bus for on a folder CGI bin with the extension dot sh ended. So it found user dot sh. I'm gonna copy this. And well, we want to test whether the we want to see and we want to test whether the, our uh, website is vulnerable to shell shock. So I found wait, it's on the <laughs> host machine. I found this website. Uh, sure, yeah, this one to be very explicit and I mean yeah it was very easy to to follow along so I just copied this so as you can see it uh, it prints the containing of the uh, slash ATC slash password uh, file so I'm gonna go back to the Kali like that paste the command and also modify this because we don't have a bash, we have a sh, and it's called user.sh. And also our server is located at http 10 10 10 56. And we hit enter. So it worked. And as you can see, it printed the ATC password file. Well, okay, now we want to exploit it. How do you do that? Well, first, um, well, I've searched. Uh, no, I've searched on exploit DB. Yeah, it's working very strange these days. Uh, well, yeah, I've searched on exploit DB, and you find if you search for Shellshock, you find this one. A mod CGI Shellshock remote command injection. So I'm gonna copy this exploit. I actually have it here, but. Uh, I'm going to empty it, shell.py, nano shell.py. I'm going to paste this. And we go up, 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 up. And there should be a list. Yeah, this list. It says all the pages possible and we want to add our page because our page is not in here so we add uh, here CGI bin like that 
slash cgi slash bin slash user sh like that we hit the comma and another like that save it wait uh, I said use us you user dot sh I'm gonna save it and now execute it so let me see how the command was okay sudo python shell that pi um payload if I'm not mistaken reverse air host equals to 10 10 10 56 and L host L host is 10 10 40 14 26 L host 14 26 and L port let's say Four 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 four. I'm gonna run it. Put a pseudo password, and it worked. Yeah, uh, we are user Shelly. Yeah, well now <laughs> root was kind of easy. All that I had to do was run sudo minus l and see that we can run Perl as root. So pretty easy, right? And what we want to do is search for Perl one line Perl reverse shell, and we're gonna use the uh, pentest monkey rever Perl, Perl rever reverse shell. We're gonna copy this, go back to Kali, modify it a bit, paste it here, and modify it a bit. And <clears throat> let's say port one two three four. Yeah, it's fine. Ten ten. 1426 because this is our IP our machine IP and we're gonna copy it so I don't um, so I copy everything yeah let's make sure of that copy this and set up a listener on port 1234 so we do sudo and paste the command Perl minus E socket yeah, everything is fine. And hit enter. And if you go back to the listener, it worked. Who am I root? And if you go to root, as one of my uh, as one of the viewers uh, suggested, I'm gonna use wc minus c root.txt from now on to oh wc minus c fuck <laughs> root.txt uh, enter. So we have the root.txt file as well. So yeah, this was it. Um, I really like this box. The root was very easy, but the the shell shock uh, vulnerability reminded me of it. Uh, I've actually rooted this. This was one of the first boxes I've I've solved more than one year ago when I've starting uh, when I've started uh, doing boxes from hack the box so now it reminded me of the of this vulnerability and hopefully I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get something like this uh, on my OSP exam because this is gonna be easy very easy yeah thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'm gonna post one more video soon and if you haven't uh, please register to my my team's CDF is called Xmas Capture the Flag. So we also have sponsors this year: Hack the Boss, Try Hack Me, and Rough. And we also have more than 1,000 registered team already. All right, so it's gonna be huge this this year. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a beginner or an advanced player of CDFs. This CDF is for everyone, and we are gonna we're hopefully gonna surprise you with some unique challenges. Yeah, until then guys, see you next time.